Hey there, it's me, Nevin, with Pitsco again. I know that if you've recently constructed the T-Bot, that you spent a lot of time and energy on that build. That thing is a beast. But what a rewarding feat it is once you see the various hydraulic components actually move its robotic arm. So the basic idea behind any hydraulic system is very simple. Force that is applied at one point is transmitted to another point using an incompressible fluid. The fluid is almost always an oil of some sort, though in the case of the T-Bot, it's water. The force is also almost always multiplied in the process. You know hydraulics are everywhere in places you likely don't even realize. And thank goodness, they help us do hard work. Hydraulics are in bucket trucks, backhoes, dump trucks, some jackhammers, cranes, bobcats, vehicles, and even ferris wheels. Hydraulic power provides flexibility in the control of machines, providing an efficient method of multiplying forces. Can you imagine going back to using wedges, inclined planes, and pulleys for doing heavy manual lifting? Me neither. Things like the construction of homes and buildings and even improving our roads and bridges would take a really long time. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. For more information about the T-Bot or to experiment with some cool activities, visit pitsco.com.